This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got my good friend Jackie Stanzel with me from Jacqueline Marie Photography. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. I got to thank you for being here today too. We are taping on March 8th and it is at International Women's Day too. And I see you've got some beautiful balloons there from our good friend. I do. These are from Christine Bless from Bunker 2 Plus in Swiss Falls. She uh, gave them to me yesterday. So, oh, what a wonderful lady herself, too. Another uh, empowering she woman is. that we, an inspiring lady, too, much as like yourself, to, uh, to share this day with. So, thank you very much for joining us today. I want okay. to talk to you about your photography business. We yes. uh, typically, at Christmas time and uh, Valentine's Day, is a popular day for people, for, the, for people to get their engagement rings. That's right. So, it's, part of the planning uh, is getting a photographer. That's right. That's right. Actually, it's one of the uh, one of the first um, vendors you should actually hire because photographers are they are book fairly quickly. So you are like uh, you probably got most of this year booked already. I am fully booked. You're fully booked already this year. I I'm fully booked for weddings for the amount of weddings that I can I can possibly do myself. I'm fully booked. All right. So and I'm also halfway booked for next year. That's amazing. That's amazing. But it's such a big, integral, important part of your day. You want to keep the memories and you're always going to have your pictures. That's right. That's right. And that's one thing. Um, that's one thing that you should really look for, you know, to, to ensure that you have a good photographer to capture those moments because it's a day you don't want to forget. And I mean, you get people prepared too. You get people prepared. You've got checklists. Uh, let, let's start it with the uh, engagement pictures. You have a checklist for, for when you get your engagement pictures done. Yes, I do. I have, um, I have a style guide that I send to all my clients and it, uh, it just gives them, you know, thoughts of what to wear, what types of, uh, you know, photos they would like to um, ha capture. Um, different places that we can go and take their photos, whether it be Smith Falls, Ottawa, Carlton Place. I have a list of different um, possible places for engagement photos. Um, also detailing right down to, you know, what to wear, how to, how to style your hair, and, and even about bringing food along because a photo session is, it, it, it can be a workout. And it could be, it's a couple, it's a few hours too. That's right. It's a couple hours long. So um, yeah, so they get their engagement uh, photos, usually about six months before their wedding. Yeah. And I mean, you get things down here too, you know, like, uh, like you say, pack something to eat too. You pack a bag, pack some flats and, and flip flops or in the winter time, in the summertime, because yeah. uh, a lot of people like to get it done outside and it's pretty hard right. to, to walk around with a pair of heels on, but you may have the heels on when you get your picture taken, but have some flats to travel. Well, and that's right. And also, um, some people I've taken photographs where we've been near a creek. So if you have your flip flops, some couples just like to jump right into the creek and have their photos taken. Oh my. Too. So yeah, so the guys roll up their pants, you know, the ladies have their dresses on and you know, they have their bare feet. So it's you know, having flats is, is great to have as well. Because you just never know where we're going to shoot or what type of photo we're going to take. I really like what you said too. Like uh, on you, you've got your checklist here, and I looked at it the other day. And uh, you, you get so much done for that day. You get your hair done, you get your nails done, you get dressed up. You've got different outfits on and everything like that. After you're done your session, it should be a date night. That's right. That correct. It should be, and they should also treat their engagement photos like their mock trial. So it's a great way to have their makeup done by their makeup artist the day of their wedding that's going to do it have their hair done um similar to the way they're going to do it that way they're actually you know meeting their makeup artist meeting their hairstylist and getting to know them too before the big day and, and you know I, I i see what you do too you, you've got some TikToks out there you've got some facebook pages too and you're really working on people's self-confidence because so often as a photographer people say i want to get my pictures done but i never look good in the pictures Yes, it's self-confidence is huge. Um, when I started photography, I didn't know how huge it was because I can't, there's not one session I don't go to where mostly women, but men too say, can you remove this wrinkle? Can you, you know, slim me here? Can you do this? It's, 
self-image is is um, it's very evident that not a lot of people like to have their photos taken or the way they look. So with my TikToks, I'm really trying to get out there, get, you know, myself, my own self-image. I hate being in front of the camera, hate it, love being behind it. But the TikTok videos, the reels, it's pushing me out of my comfort zone and making me love myself, you know, a little bit more. Well, it's such a, a it's such a huge thing too because you hear that so often as people don't want to get their picture taken or hurry up and take the picture. But you, you've got a, a way of getting people's natural beauty out. Not the pose stuff. Yes, you, you you sit there and you're looking and it's like I I don't look good like this. But you can bring out natural beauty in in so many people and you're so good at it. Well, thank you. But most of my I like to capture people candidly. Um, yes, we have the pose shots, but I also snap when when people don't expect me to snap and they actually end up being some of the best photos I've taken. They are. They really are. Yeah. They really are. All right. Let's, let's move on to the wedding day itself too. There's a lot the of jitters day. and everything like that. Be prepared. That's right. So about a month before the wedding, um, I, I'm in touch with the, the bride, um, and groom, mostly the bride, but uh, I send them another detailed list of what they should have the day, you know, the morning of for when I get there. Um, do, I ask them to send me a list of important photos that they would like to have taken um, the day of. Important details like please don't take, you know, please don't have pictures of my mom and dad, they're separated, they don't talk. You know, information like that, they need to provide to me, but also I, I give them a detailed list of what they should have for me ready um, the, the morning of that I arrive. So I need their veil, I need their, you know, their wedding dress, their invitation suite, because I like to take detailed shots of that. All the rings, including the men's, um, earrings, necklaces, hair pieces, um, perfume bottles, um, everything, anything that's part of their wedding, they should have ready for me to um, photograph and document for their for their albums. And it's just not the just the people too. You need the, these things. You need the the rings, the garters, the the dresses, that sort of thing. You make beautiful photography pictures out of that sort of thing, and they're wonderful memories as well. That's right. That's right. It's 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 the details um, that I don't want them to forget because often they can be forgotten if, if you don't give a list. And, you know, some brides say, oh, I never even thought of that. And, you know, thank you for this. So it's, uh, yeah. And there's, there's, there's just so much to a wedding that you, you can photograph. Like there's, there's a lot. Oh yeah. The, well, the invitations, I've got that down too. And uh, the envelopes for the invitations, the flowers. That, and I also bring some stuff for myself for the, um, you know, for the video or for the photos. I, you know, I bring special um, hangers for the dresses to hang from, you know, really nice white hangers. I bring, um, I have old fashioned scissors to incorporate into the, into the pictures. If brides don't have um, special necklaces or earrings that they're wearing, I have I have a set of pearls that I bring, and I have some other little necklaces that I add. I have ribbon, you know. I have my own little kit that I bring to actually add to their style kit, uh, wax seals to add to their stationery set. And, it's it's yeah. there's a lot of planning involved, in it and and uh, you, you can't just do it the day of. No, no, no. There's a lot. Better. There's a lot of planning. A lot of communication. There really is, and and it's not just the week before. You're you're with the the couple, months ahead of ahead of their day, their special day. Yeah, sometimes you know a year before. And, and you're or you you telling them details they wouldn't even have thought about. So. That's right. That's, That's absolutely right. right. So uh, I I thank you for joining me today and telling us a little bit more. I know we could talk about photography because you know I love photography. I know <laughs> <laughs> so much more. Uh, now you are a wedding family and lifestyle photographer, so maybe we can have you back because I really love your baby shots too. I'd love to learn more about how you do that. <laughs> uh, or my wildlife. Yeah. Wildlife oh my goodness, your wildlife is amazing. It's amazing. Yes, yes. You just have an eye for that. You you know what to look for, and you can find them. <clears throat> so yeah. I thank you for that. How do people get a hold of you, Jackie? Um, they can email me at hello at jacquelinemariephotog dot com. Um, call me six one three two zero six zero three seven four, 
or I also have a web page, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok now. Yes, for sure, for sure. And take a look. Wildlife. I encourage everybody, take a look at all your pictures, your wildlife stuff. Like, I'm glad you mentioned that. It's amazing. Just amazing. I didn't even know that those sort of animals lived around here. <laughs> it's amazing what we have. It's it really amazing. is. It really yeah. is. And, and you managed to get so close and so... Uh, you're so good at it. So I thank you very much wow. for joining us today. We'll have you back and we'll talk more about that.